Hi, Don Peterson here with theswingfactory.com. Wanted to give you a tip today. Uh, I know many of you out there wrestle with the golf club. And what I mean by that is when you get to the top of the swing, there's kind of a wrestling move. And I, I call it a wrestling move because in wrestling, if you can get on top of your opponent, that's an advantage because you can use your strength, but you also have your weight. So anytime an opponent's trying to fight against strength and weight, it's harder. And they call it in wrestling, they call it riding time. If you can get up on top of someone, you can ride them. So in the golf swing, the wrestler's move is right here, and it's generally the right hand. And you've got two wrestlers here. It's kind of like your right hand wrestles against your left hand if you're a right-handed golfer. So the top of the swing, the right hand's trying to get up on top. It's trying to get leverage, okay? And, and weight is leverage. So if I can get my elbow out and I can push down, I've got some, some weight here and some strength that can push down on the club. So this is what happens to cause a lot of you to swing what we call outside in or over the top. So at the top of the swing, this right side wants to get up here and push. So it wants to push that club head into the golf ball. And you can see if there's any pushing uh, coming from this trail hand, uh, my right hand is a right-handed golfer, if there's any pushing coming here, it's going to throw the club out and over and cause a, an extremely poor path into the golf ball. So what I want you to do is subdue that right hand by by making the left hand stronger, maybe trying to get the left hand on top of the right. It's a different thought. Uh, I've had people, and I, I give them a, tips and, and things about this all the time. We've heard tray position. Obviously, I've done some videos on tray position. But there's another one that I talk about. It's I, I want people to feel like their left arm is longer than the right. Okay, so feel like it's reaching out over the top of the right. So at the top of the swing, you're going to reach that left side over the top of the right. Make that right side fall under. You'll feel like your right wrist is lower than your left wrist rather than the other way around. You'll feel maybe that your left arm and left elbow are higher than your right arm and your right elbow. So everything's going to feel quite a bit different. This feels upright. This feels flat, just so you know. And the funny thing is sometimes when I see upright swings, where the club looks like it's up above my head, the arm is actually quite low. And if you change that around and get the club low, the arm sometimes comes up and looks a little bit higher at the top of the swing. So it's funny, you can make the club feel as if it's swinging lower. The club feels more like a baseball swing, but your arms actually look a little bit higher rather than this, this view here where you get that, that right hand wrestling up over the top of the left. And, pushing the club out on the downswing. So work on this extension, all right? It's, it's kind of a width feeling as well. So width with your left arm and, and more relaxation with your right. So reach over the top, at the top of your swing for better scores. Try this next time you go out and I think you'll find some improvement.